Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and in place of my app of the week video I'm actually going to be taking a look at music memos now you may be thinking that is an app but I'm not classifying it as a, an app of the week because it's not a third party app this is in fact a first party app by Apple and it's sort of an extension to voice memos which comes standard on every iPhone if you want to see it that way or you might see it as a sort of companion app to GarageBand so essentially what it allows you to do is record small ideas about music and what you're hearing so an example of this is you're playing music with your friends and you come up with an idea maybe you want to work on later so perhaps you'll just you use music memos to record this and then later on you can continue editing it in say GarageBand on your Mac or perhaps uh, use it even on your iOS device but um, I'm going to be showing it to you and I'm going to be showing it to you on, your I on my iPad and this isn't optimized for the iPad, but because I'm using my iPhone to record the 4K video for you. However, this isn't optimized for the iPad, so if you turn it iPad landscape, it won't do anything. If I go ahead and open the app, you'll just be greeted with a simple interface. So in the middle, we've got a bl big blue button, which is just there to record. So you tap to record and then tap to stop recording. And at the top, you'll see we have three buttons. Now on the left, we have an auto button, which I'll show you how that works in a minute. We've got our button in the middle which lets you access all, a list of all your recordings. I'll show you that in as well. And on the right we have our tuning icon. Now this is something which is actually quite a handy feature. If I tap on that, the interface will change slightly to have sort of a bar in the middle. And essentially what it lets you do is tune your instrument. So if I play a note on the piano, which is now in the top sort of part of the screen, um, you'll be able to hear the tuning now, but we'll go ahead and get started with this now. So I'm just going to play a simple C. And as you can see, Music Memories has picked that up and it's displayed on the screen. Now if I play it again, you'll notice that the C is white. And that's basically indicating that the note's in tune and it's fine. You don't need to mess around with that. If I play an F, do the same thing. Now, as you noticed, it does turn red sometimes and the bar will either move to the left or the right. Now, depending on whether it moves to the left or the right depends on how you need to tune it. However, if it turns red, it means you need to tune the notes, so it's not perfectly tuned, then you need to change that. So, work the same for other notes. So that should recognise itself as a D. There you go. And a G. So, as you've noticed, this is an electric piano, so it's not going to be a perfect sound like from, say, a grand piano, but that is the reason why Music Memos isn't registering every note as being tuned. But that's basically how it's working and it's a very nice feature to have. If I tap the tuning icon again I can go back to the main sort of menu. Now from here I'm going to show you how you can actually record your sort of footage. And you can just use tap to record, tap to stop recording. But I'm going to show you another feature which is the, using the auto button I mentioned earlier. Now this auto button essentially lets you automatically record what's going on. So if I want to automatically record something, so if I'm perhaps getting ready to play or just before I'm about to play, if I want to use this option, what it will let me do is it will automatically set up the sort of recording abilities and then as soon as I start playing it will recognise music is being played and it will automatically start recording. So that's a nice feature to have. I'm going to demo it now. So I've got the piano and what I can do is I hit the auto button, it's now recording everything and when I start playing it's going to actually start saving what I'm recording. So if I start playing a bit of music it's going to start doing it as you can see. So as you can see there it's recorded the music and you might may have noticed when I started playing the music the recording turned red basically indicating it is recording and when I finished playing it turned back to the blue and it's now got the uh, sort of sound waves at the bottom and it has the name of my idea the time I've recorded it so if I want to change the name just tap on the name and I can just enter another thing so let me do tech OS uh, test record hit done so now I'm going to show you how you can edit it so I've just tapped onto it and just literally just tap on the sound waves and it will come into this sort of view. Now, 
So I can click off that and now I'm back at the main screen now. If I want to access that recording again, just hit the icon at the top. It shows me a list of all my recordings and I can just tap on the sound waves to get into extra editing. Now, what this lets you do is many things. So this looks like it's renamed it back to what it was before. Let's change it back. Uh, test, let's just call it test and just hit out of that. There we go. So at the top here, we've got the time signatures. So if I tap on that, I can change how it is. So if I want to change it, perhaps Music Memos hasn't got it quite right. So I can manually adjust that. Tap done once I've finished. I can change the key. So if I'm sorry, not the key, I can change the chords. So I can change the various chords that I'm playing. So again, if Music Memos hasn't quite got that right, then you can adjust those for use with later features, which I'll show you after. If I tap this icon in the middle, just under the play button. Uh, this allows me to trim it, so I can actually choose where I want it to start from. So I can perhaps make it start. So if I start it around here, and I'll end it over here, just as an example, and I'll just press uh, trim at the bottom, the big red bar. And I just hit save as new idea, and that's now done. Change it to test copy, obviously, because it's trimmed it. And I can go back to the original by going through the um, ideas browser over here and just selecting the original file. If I go back into this mode, though, I can hit the icon next to that to bring up all these note options. So I can change the capo positions and all the other stuff. And I can change the tuning, so however I want that to be set up, especially it's helpful if you're using a guitar as it says at the top. Just tap out of that. Now we've got the sharing option, so I can just tap share, I can sh send it to music, I can send it to GarageBand if I want to continue editing it, I can send it to SoundCloud, add it to notes and do various other things with it, email it, upload it to YouTube, etc. And I've also got some actions down at the bottom, iTunes, iCloud Drive or opening it in another app. So that's basically how you can share it once you've completed. You will notice there are these five stars at the top. If I tap on those, I can rate it. So I can just drag my finger over however many stars I want. That's a nice feature to have. And at the bottom, in the bottom left, I can see tags. Now, this is essentially just a way of tagging your items so they're organized, sort of like folders in the Finder. And I can just add a new tag. I can click on the new tag, or I can, I can click on one of the tags here, or I can add a new one just by typing. So I can type in, I can do repeat section so this is perhaps a section that's being repeated and just tick um, tap add repeat section and then it's just done that so now that's a new tag i've added and i can go in and edit and get rid of tags if i want to just by doing that now i'm going to move on to the final two bits which are the bottom two bits now i've just tapped on it and that's the drums icon now i've tapped on them and if i play what it's going to do is it's going to let me use drums, so basically add drums to my piece to make it So that's basically what it's done, and if I tap and hold on it, I get other options, so I can choose a bass drum, or I can choose bass uh, or drums, so I've got two options down here, so we've got the sort of guitar icon and the drums. and choose either one so I can make a loud uh, simple sort of rhythm or I can make a very quiet and complex one I can change between electric and upright and I can do the same for the drums so I can change the complexity and volume and I can change the kits and I can change which type of music it is so if I change it to that type of music of that type of music there make it loud and uh, so you know it's quiet and complex so sort of halfway through and then I'll change the bass to perhaps uh, complex and loud, and I'll make it electric. Now if I play it back, if I just uh, close out of this, um, and tap play, we just drag and play. As you can hear, it's just added a different type of feel to the music, so I can obviously export that into GarageBand and continue, or just keep it like that. So if I don't want to put it into GarageBand, I can just have extra options there. 
Finally, I'm just going to show you one last bit, quite self-explanatory. Delete. I can just delete it, and it's gone. Get taken back to my list of recordings. Well, I can continue from there. That's basically it for Music Memos. It's a very simple app. It's uh, free on the App Store. You can download it on any iOS device that you want to. So your iPhone, your iPad, or your iPod Touch, and it works very well. So. That's it for this video. If you've got any questions or comments on Music Memos or you're having trouble with it, do contact me by using the details in the description of the video or leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you get notified when any new videos come out. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.